Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this series, the game is very simple. If you laugh at anything in today's video, if you even smile or have a little smirk on your face, you lose and you have to do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Well, I'm going to give you guys some options today. A, you can share Z Education, the channel. You can share this video to people who have never heard of Z Education, so we can keep growing. Or you can take a shot full of jungle juice. And I'm not just talking any jungle juice. I'm talking airport jungle juice. Yes, that's, that's one of your options for losing today. And if you don't fly or you're not going to the airport anytime soon, I know that there's a bar or restaurant near you and I know they have dumpsters. So you either share this video or you take a shot of jungle juice. Your choice. If you accept today's terms of the game, head down and like this video and make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have the bell click for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now that that's out of the way, we can begin. If you laugh, you lose, go. Middle of sentence approaches. Kamala Harris. <laughs> Has she ever done a speech or an interview where she doesn't do this? Every time she gets in front of the camera, she like nervous laughs or she gets put on the spot and she just diverts attention by laughing. I'm a peeing, you're a peeing. That is so stupid. Always start your day with a positive attitude. Me. Fuck. <laughs> it's me. That's me. That is a, a picture of me every morning. <laughs> Racist white dudes be like, here's my top 25 films. All right, what? Taxi Driver, great movie. Fight Club, great movie. American Psycho, great movie. Inglorious Bastards, great movie. Donnie Darko, great. Big Lebowski. Matrix. All of these movies are unbelievable movies. How does this make anyone racist? Kill Bill. Silence of the Lambs. Pulp Fiction. All right, if you don't like those movies, are you not a racist white male? I, I don't get it. How does that make you racist? These movies are phenomenal movies. These tests are way too easy. Syntax error. You're doing it. it. Good luck, man. Stay strong. Keep uh, keep letting that calculator do all the work. That's right. Gorilla Glue Girl Tessica Brown confirms she's pregnant with six child. Me looking for who the F asked. Like, is there a coordinated attempt here by the media to give this person attention? The Gorilla Glue hair? Like, why did she get this spotlight? Why is she getting this platform? And it's sh shame on you. Shame on you for covering this. Can we stop? Please, media, like places that are way bigger than this channel, New York Post, Daily Mail, all these places, all these news outlets covering her. Who cares about her? She's getting coverage because she did something really, really stupid. I, and this, how is this news? Six child? Really? Stop crying. It's just a movie. The movie. Yeah, that is a, uh, that's a cry worthy scene. If I've ever seen a cry-worthy scene. And if you don't know what movie this is from, go watch the movie I Am Legend. Pretty good movie, I think. Uh, and really tough scene to watch, yeah. So, it's not just a movie, okay? In the Bodhi tribe in Ethiopia, the most desired men are those with the largest bellies. The more belly you have, the more attractive you are. I show this to you so you can see that you're not fat. You're just in the wrong tribe. It's like one third of America. You're just in the wrong tribe, guys. This tribe in Ethiopia must be the ones responsible for the uh, the fat is beautiful movement. Look at that. I mean, is that where that started? Are they to blame? Easter Bunny bringing joy to children, 1955. Wow. That Easter Bunny is absolutely terrifying. Shame on this guy. Shame on this guy. Look at these kids. They're absolutely terrified. How to prevent mass shootings. Make getting a gun as difficult as it is to vote. You want them mailed out to everyone? Hey, <laughs> Yeah, this stupid, stupid narrative. It's so easy to get a gun. I actually just went to buy a gun last weekend and I couldn't buy it because the address on my ID didn't match the place I wrote down because I just moved. They wouldn't let me buy a gun. That's how easy it is to buy a gun while they're doing my background check and all this other stuff. It's such a dumb narrative. So please, please, all of you anti-gunners saying this dumb stuff, you do look really stupid. You've clearly never bought a gun before and been through the steps of buying one. Mom, leave the sign in the kitchen where it belongs. Dad, 
You only live once. Lick the bowl. That's dad. Quit being a smart ass, all right? <laughs> Me. All right, time to sleep. YouTube. 10 things you didn't know about black holes. Me. Well, well, well. Then let's find out. Have you ever been down the YouTube rabbit hole? Especially at midnight. Next thing you know, it's 3 a.m. Uh, then you got to wake up at 6 or 7. I think I've been there <sighs> dozens of times. Dozens of times. Are you in that rabbit hole right now watching this video? If you are, you can't go to bed until you finish this video. I will not be your father. Eh, that's debatable. That looks like it came from a gas station, if I'm being honest. And who knows how long that thing has been in there. That's uh, awfully bold of you to say that on there. Eh, Krispy Kreme donuts. Happy April Fool's Day. The, the worst day of the year. It was the worst and best day of the year because April Fool's landed on opening day baseball, which is the best American holiday of all time. Minus the SJW trash and the MLB now. But, yeah, April Fool's Day, dumb. Hey, Kamala, I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on Kamala. Ah, 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 ah. We're starting a new game. Every time she speaks or she does a speech, we're going to have a, we're going to play a drinking game. If she laughs like this, she diverts and doesn't answer the question. You got to take a drink. If she, if she cackles like she will, like she always does, you have to chug worth $10 million and a princess oppressed worth 500 million oppressed worth 2 billion oppressed worth $2.32 privileged. That's right. Get it right. This, the pigmentation on your skin, that's all that matters, all right? Nothing else matters, socioeconomic status, none of that matters. If you look like me, you are privileged. You're an oppressor. Everybody meet Bill. We found out that he was allergic to fishing in my spots. <laughs> Bill, RIP, you shouldn't have fished in somebody else's spot. How dare you? That's, that's a big no-no. They can close our beaches, close our rivers, and close our public swimming pools, but they cannot close our potholes. There's actually truth to that. You know, all these trillion dollar stimuluses and all these stupid bills that pass all the time. And there's always potholes everywhere, especially in places like Minnesota. Which I get, you know, you put salt on the roads, you plow all the time, the, the roads get torn up. But we spend all this money on taxes. They can't even close the potholes. That being said, why are you doing this? Just for the meme? You're just out there with the shampoo in the pothole for the meme. Again, I've said this a thousand times, I respect the passion for creating. But, was it worth it? Today was crazy hair day at my little cousin's school, and this is what her mom did to her. She's so extra. I love it. That is very, very creative. Huge props to, to this mom. And it looks kind of cool, actually. It would be cooler, though, if it was Barks Repair, not a and Send a pic, Winky. Never going to happen. You look like Leonardo DiCaprio ate a meth sandwich. <laughs> that actually is, like, the perfect description. Leo ate a meth sandwich. Wow. Tyler Zed and Kamala Harris separated at birth? <laughs> hey, you guys can't show this. This is Quit doxing me. I'm not related to Kamala. Stop it. Even though, uh, yeah, the proof is in the pudding. To be continued. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, uh... Gun Safety 101. Don't do that. That's, uh... Oof. When you think it's the weekend, but it's only Wednesday. I, I really, really hate corny memes, corny jokes. But, uh, I appreciate this one. I, I love movie references. So I can appreciate this one. What in the deep, deep, dark woods of Kentucky am I looking at here? That's what I want to know. Oh my. Someone call PETA, man. They even put a little CC. What is that? Um, designer. This is a designer? No, there's no way. Coco? Coco and Chanel? Is that what that is? Gucci? Is that Gucci? I don't know. All I know is that that is messed up. I'm going to start working out tomorrow. Me the next day. 
What is that, a dog? A pig? What the? Uh, yeah. If this is you, get your ass on the back, get on the treadmill, start working out. Stop the laying. Now! Waiter, kids under 12 eat free. Dad, he's 10. Kid, actually, I'm dad. <laughs> How many of you have ever been here? I ever been there? Got this look from your parents. Like, just sh shut up. Don't say anything more. I'm lying right now. It's a white lie. It's okay. Uh, it's going to save us a couple bucks. Stop talking. How many of you have seen this? They are playing hardball now. Throw me away. I'm used to it. If that's real, these people are playing next level guilt trip. Can anyone confirm in the comments if they have ever got a piece of mail like this trying to get you to donate 25 cents a day or whatever it is? Throw me away. I'm used to it. Yes. Like a politician tugging at your heartstrings, trying to manipulate you to get what they want. Get your vote, get your 25 cents a day. I do care for this little kid. Yeah, I hope he, he does well. I hope he survives. But that, I don't know. I just, people who have to manipulate you like that, I don't trust them. Please pray for my uncle. He found out his stimulus check is going towards his child support. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. <laughs> I've got 36 sheets of 7 16 OSB looking to trade for a new 2021 F350. I figure they're worth about the same nowadays. No low ballers. I know what I've got here. The crazy part is, is uh, that might be an even trade. That might be a fair trade with things right now. Price of lumber is out of control. WTF is burning CDs. Do you put it in the fire? I hope that's an honest question. I really do. That, uh, that just shows that today's generation, they'll never understand. And who were you on the bus? Every field trip had, you know, you had the bus. And if you were the cool kid, you had a book full of CDs, full of burned CDs. And if you were really cool, you were giving out CDs or, you know, you weren't selling them because that was illegal. But you know, you were making CDs for your friends. You were making mixtapes for your girlfriends. Were you that cool? CNN. Asians are being targeted by whites. Asians. Uh, no, we're not. CNN. I said you're being targeted. The stories that are coming out about these hate crimes do not support this. And the statistics do not support this either. It's just CNN. It's all these politicians race baiting, trying to divide us, trying to push votes, push agendas. That's all it is. Walk away from this garbage. Stop listening to them. I just accepted a job offer from a man I called a racist and a rapist. That's a good reminder. She, uh, she did call him a racist. Remember the segregation on the buses? I was that little girl. That was directed at Joe. And she also said that she believed his accusers. That's a fact check. True. Does she still believe his accusers? I don't know. It's worth asking. They're working together. Men's tourney made $864.6 million last year. Women's lost $2.8 million. Huh. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. A hunter's dream tree. Yeah, that forest is made for hunters. That's so much better than just a straight log. If you've ever been there, you know this is a dream tree. <laughs> Me buying stock in Kingsford lighter fluid now that Derek Chauvin trial has begun. <laughs> Better buy some Kingsford lighter fluid, guys. Uh, because that's about to go through the roof once he does not get the second degree murder charge. He might get a lower charge. I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen. The evidence, you know, doesn't justify that in my opinion. But we will see. If he doesn't get the second degree murder charge, if he gets anything lower, people are going to be pissed. They're going to riot. They're going to burn stuff down. They're going to use Kingsford letter fluid. Buy that. The stock is about to go through the rooftop. Never tuck your shirt in again. Whoever decided that this was a good idea, you're going to hell. Evergreen. <laughs> we found out. Hey, this is what happened. I knew it. I knew this is why this, uh, this ship got stuck. It explains everything. All of the answers right there is education submissions. Hey, there's a good reminder. If you're on Reddit, head over to the subreddit. If you want to submit memes, head over to the subreddit. I just need an ID for the background check. No, requiring ID is racist. You got to show ID to buy a gun. You got to show ID to buy liquor. 
You got to show ID to buy a house. You got to show ID for virtually everything except for voting because that's racist. That's the only time it's racist. How people who eat steak rare look at those who eat it well done. I eat my steak medium rare and that's a photo of me. Anyone who eats it medium or well done. Not a cell phone in sight. Just a kid living in the moment. <laughs> Just living in the moment. Waterboard their teddy bears. That's beautiful. No phone in sight. Just beautiful. <laughs> the plant in my room watching it rain outside. This poor bastard. He was born 100 years ago. He's 99. Can you imagine, like, going through World War II, uh living through the depression all this stuff you know his royalty has got all the fall of the british empire uh he lived through so much history you know and this is how he's remembered right now <laughs> like he became a meme not in his wildest dreams could he have predicted this this is this is just it's an accurate meme so i mean we can't we can't deny that but this poor bastard delta requiring an id to vote uh -uh -uh. Delta, requiring an ID to fly. Ha ha ha. Delta, you racists. You're requiring people to have an ID when they fly. You're racist. Plain and simple. If you require an ID for anything, you are a racist. Good job, Delta. Disgusting. Forgot it was April Fool's Day. My students told me they made me brownies and I was too ready to smash. Open the lid. And MF and brown is. That's why I hate April Fool's Day. Hate it. Police said the girls, 13 and 15, assaulted an Uber Eats driver with a taser while carjacking him, which led to an accident in which he was fatally injured. An accident is when you choose CNN from the channel guide by mistake. Yes, that is an accident. Um, and they're talking about the man, the Uber Eats driver, who died because these girls killed him. If you saw the video, it's very, very, very disturbing. I don't recommend you watch it. Uh, this wasn't an accident. CNN framing this because of their, their racial motives. Again, CNN is propaganda. Do not watch it. It's garbage. Chuck Norris. That's how it got out. So we now know how it started. And now we know how it got out. Chuck Norris. You're at very top and your friends send you this. Oh, no, no, no. Those are some mean friends. But I will say you should have noticed this before you got on. You shouldn't have even got on this. Is that like a county fair? Don't ride those rides. They're dangerous, man. Look at it. That's crazy. A foolish man shares his problems. A wise man shares his memes. That's true. Share the memes. Spread them far and wide. Makes you a wise man. Or woo man. Anyone else want to hear Biden say, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Or is it just me? I do want to see that, but it would be pretty embarrassing um, for the country. So as much as I dislike Biden, as much as I don't agree with him, as much as I think he's a bad person, a manipulative politician, um, he is the face of the country right now to the rest of the world. And this would make him look bad, hence making us look bad. So I do want to see him say that when he's out of office. Me in 2020. Me in 2021. Is that from Lost? I, I love that show. If you watch Lost, did you like the ending? Let me know in the comments. So, what did you achieve during quarantine? Me. Longer, larger, fart. Whoever put those graphics on that plane, need to fix that. Do Italians get the vaccine like this? Or <laughs> like this? <laughs> oh, I don't... Why does that... It's, it's such a hilarious stereotype. Generalization of Italians. <laughs> But I'm gonna have to say they, they do it with the pointy end up, I think. Italians, any of you Italians out there, let me know. Walmart management. Poor working conditions, low pay. Pizza party. If you're a manager, a boss, pizza party, that's a good tool to have in your arsenal. It gives you two more weeks of, you know, it holds off the bitching. It, it satisfies employees for a while. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? I have a cousin who pays for OnlyFans. It is a little bit stupid. You know, it, out of all the porn sites that cost zero dollars, you go to OnlyFans to pay. I, I, it just, it doesn't make sense to me. Although you should stay off those sites, guys. Don't go to any of those sites, all right? It's not good for your mental health and your relationships, although it is your decision. Go ahead, do what you want. Good app. 
non-toxic app, ad-free app, dog. Get it? Cause like it's opposite day. Ha ha ha. My teacher said guns kill people. I told her my pencil filled my last exam. Guys, guys, what are you what are you trying to make arguments like this for? People don't want to hear it. They don't want to listen. All right. It's like the you know the spoon made me fat thing. They, they don't they don't want to hear it. If you know who this is and don't know who this is, then you are everything wrong with the world today. Take a good effing look at yourself. <laughs> Ah, that is amazing. Do you know who Phil Collins is? Do you know what show he's from? That's the funny part about this. <laughs> you are the best part of society. Yes. R.I.P. Phil Collins, by the way. It's that time of the year, y'all. 7 a.m. Heat. 3 p.m. Cold. Accurate. That's a fact check true. That is uh, that is Minnesota right now. Gun owners hearing downstairs window break at 1 a.m. in the morning. Oh, that's great. Oh, shucks. Gotta go. Gotta go protect our, our house. How did you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? Because if you did, you lose and you have to do one of your two punishments. You have to choose. I don't know if I've ever given a choice before in this game. So you either have to share this video, shares education, the channel to someone who may have never heard of this or you drink the jungle juice. Your choice. Let me know how you did in the comments and let me know which punishment you are going to be doing. And if you don't do it, I'm gonna know, all right? Again, let me know in the comments. While you're down there, please make sure you like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Idiots.